Hello, I'm going to give you an overview of the Ulysses Trust. For those of you who want some money to support adventurous training and expeditions organised by the Reserve and Cadet Forces. My name is Polly Marsh and I am the CEO of the Ulysses Trust. So what is the Ulysses Trust? Well, the Ulysses Trust provides support to all of our UK Reserve and Cadet Forces. That includes our adult volunteers and our veterans to undertake challenging, adventurous activities in the UK and overseas. Our support includes practical advice as well as financial assistance in the form of grants. The Ulysses Trust was set up off the back of a Territorial Army expedition in an attempt to summit Everest in the dead of winter in 1992. The Trust has been providing support to the Reserves and the Cadets ever since. The activities that we support enable young people to develop confidence and resilience. These activities develop self-awareness and values such as courage, integrity and respect and develop life skills such as resourcefulness and risk awareness. All things that cannot be taught or learned in a classroom vital though for its personal development and for creating employable, valuable people wherever they go in life. Since the charity began, we've raised over three and a half million pounds to support over 42,000 individuals to take part in over 3,000 expeditions. These range from the very first steps into the world of challenge and adventure, such as Duke of Edinburgh bronze level expeditions, all the way through sailing in the Solent and right up to summiting Everest or crossing the Antarctic and everything in between. We have a team of over 50 volunteers spread across the UK many of whom have a great deal of experience in running expeditions and everyone has a passion for the outdoors. They know the power of challenge and adventure and how it develops attributes and life skills essential for success and happiness. These volunteers include our trustees, vice patrons, ambassadors, advisory officers and the grant application committee. The Grant Application Committee assess every application on its own merit. In terms of our charitable objectives, is it challenging and adventurous, and the level of need. How much money does it take for this particular group of individuals in order to ensure that everyone can take part? They make the decisions about awarding grants and how much. As a ballpark figure, for cadets, we aim to provide 33% of expedition costs, with the MOD providing another 33% through your normal channels and the remaining 33% provided by participants through fundraising, which is all part of the experience and the development for young people via local support and other charities. The personal contribution and the Ulysses Trust contribution can flex, however, depending on the level of need i.e. we will give more money where there is more need and that depends on the socio-economics of the group. Reserve expedition groups tend to have less socio-economic need but we support all expeditions from everyone who meets the criteria. We also know that the MOD budget cuts mean less money is available from the public purse and paid training days are tight so this is even more reason to apply for funding the Ulysses Trust in order to continue with your adventurous training and expeditions. So what sort of thing does the Trust support? Broadly, anything that is challenging and adventurous falls under the term adventurous training or expeditions. This includes trekking, mountaineering, canoeing, sailing, rock climbing, mountain biking, skiing and diving. Although when it comes to adults, we generally don't support skiing unless it's Ski Foundation 3 or above, which means cross-country skiing, 
with nights out in snow holes. And we don't support diving from fixed locations. Ideally, we need your application to be a journey, to look like an expedition. Certainly, it needs to push people outside of their comfort zone, where the magic happens, where the personal development happens. Remember, what is challenging and adventurous for some may not be a challenge at all for others. Equally, for some cadets, even one night out camping can be a huge challenge. Hence, every application is assessed on its own merit and we can't have hard rules. Our grants vary from a few hundred pounds to several thousand. It all depends on the level of need. We also support expeditions that enable cadets or adults to gain adventurous training qualifications that support the future delivery of adventurous training and expeditions. Applications are made online via our website and the grant is allocated to the unit to help support the expedition. We generally support groups rather than individuals, although we have supported individuals on expeditions, but all applications are sent through the sponsoring unit. We have a straightforward form on our website to complete, but there is guidance online as well to take you through all the questions asked. We also have our ops director, Kev, who is on the other end of the phone or email, who can answer specific queries. At the end of the day, if in doubt, apply. A reminder of our objectives and why we give these grants. Our goal is to encourage challenging expeditions and adventurous training. We support reservists, tri-service, University Cadet Forces, Tri-Service and Army, RAF, Sea and Royal Marine Cadets, as well as the CCF Cadets in schools. We do this because the evidence shows that it helps individuals and units and schools, local communities and society at large. The social impact and the value is enormous. Adventure and challenge improves morale, it benefits recruitment and retention in reserve and cadet units. It also develops individuals in terms of leadership, teamwork, initiative, self-confidence and resilience, judgment and risk assessment. These activities are proven to be the best therapy for mental health issues and support our well-being, particularly impactful for cadets and veterans. When it comes to cadets, we are particularly keen to support those who face disadvantage, whether it's financial or otherwise, and we use the Department for Education's pupil premium factors as a measure of that disadvantage. If you want to apply for a grant or need some support, you need to visit our website. If applying for a grant, please read the guidance notes. And if you fit the criteria, use the online form and make an application. This will be assessed by our grants team and if successful, we'll issue you a grant. You can apply as early as possible, but we can also consider grants in very quick time where needed. We have done so in a matter of days in the past. We do not offer grants retrospectively. In return, we will ask you to follow the Ulysses Trust social media platforms and comment and post about your expedition before, during and afterwards, the more the merrier. Please tag the Ulysses Trust on your own social media accounts. Make some short videos of your trip. We love seeing what the cadets have achieved through their own eyes. And send us a report after finishing your expedition and complete our online survey. And that's it. So visit our website to find out more and make an application for a grant. Also, please follow us on social media at the Ulysses Trust. We're on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter and YouTube. Every follower we have enables us to reach a wider audience and support more people. If you're in need of a chat, please get in touch via phone or email. All the details are on the website and thank you very much for watching.